What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games we're checking out Hyperspace Delivery Service. Where we're going to have a spaceship. And we're going to do the old Planet Express thing. Just flying things all over the galaxy and hopefully not being reduced to a smoldering pile of ash. Let's begin. New game? Okay, we gotta set a new game name. I'll set a new game name right now. Splat gets money. There we go. That's the goal of our game. That's our mission statement. Let's get a riding, shall we? Oh, we'll go with medium difficulty. Permadeath, you will not be able to destroy this game after death. Sure, why not? Name our ship, the Intrepid. I never go with that. I always go with the Merovingian whenever I name my ships or my companies. If I'm playing a game that's like Cyberpunk, I always have the company called Merovingian International. And then, like, my ship is always the Merovingian whenever I whenever I do stuff like select my crew. So we have Hleva, who is all about communications. You're going to need a name that, like, expresses what you do because I'm an idiot. I'm going to forget what your job is. Your name is Talker. Sounds good. Can you imagine that? You show up for a job and they just give you a new name. I can pick his sprite. Um, yeah, Talker will be... Somebody that looks like they have the ability to talk. We have our helmsman. Okay. This person's name is going to be Ryder. Because that's what they're going to allow us to do. Fly in this ship all over the galaxy. I think that dude looks dope. I'm going to go with that guy right there. We have security. This guy's name is going to be Click Clack. Perfect. Done. And then we need somebody that looks like a Click Clack. Who looks like a Click Clack? This dude kind of looks like an emoji. Uh, I think I'm probably... Let's have the weird little lemur monster be our security person. And then we've got our science officer. And the science officer's name will be Bubbler. Perfect. And then we need somebody that looks like they bubble. Who bubbles over here? Who looks like... Well, I mean, we have to go with the Wookiee. Like, why wouldn't I go with... you got to have a Wookiee on the ship somewhere. This guy's name is Engineering. This dude's name is going to be Tinker. Sounds good. Perfect. And then Tinker is going to be... A robot. Sounds good to me. And then we've got a crewman over here. Crewman's name is going to be Red Shirt. So there it is. Now we just got to find somebody that's got a red shirt. Anybody got a red shirt? This guy's the only guy whose shirt is not visible in the pixel, so we can just use our imagination and pretend that this guy has a red shirt. Skip introduction? Hell no. Let's do it. You've been hired by the Hyperspace Delivery Service to make a delivery to planet Meridian 5. Meridian 5 is the last stop on the Hyperspace Planetary Network, which is the only known group of planets connected by stable hyperspace routes. Originally discovered and charted by the Galactic Development Corp, this network of planets had habitat colonization modules set up and early terraforming efforts were initiated. The Galactic Development Corp went bankrupt long ago and now traveling the network is a dangerous yet lucrative journey full of mad robot pirates and unpredictable stellar phenomena. Doop doo do do doop. Phenomena. Doop do doop doop. I love the art in this game. It really takes me back to the old days of playing games on like the Apple IIe. Or like playing things like way back in like the Pentium 1 days when this is what games looked like. And they had kind of like the... I guess the screen tracing and everything where things sort of like rotated and slotted into play and they were limited to like 32 colors. Games are, were unique, very, very unique during that time period. And this game I think has captured that aesthetic very well. That old 3264 color palette. Greetings, I am KBOT4274. Welcome to Hyperspace Delivery Service Headquarters. The contract states you must make your delivery within 380 standard days. Failure to meet the deadline will result in no payment and a large fine. Cargo is marked with quantum tracking markers. Crews who attempt illegal cargo sales will be punished swiftly and severely. Be sure to check the remaining days displayed on the nav computer often. Okay. Your cargo has been loaded onto the ship. Before you depart the system, visit the orbiting space station store to stock up on supplies. Warning, hyperspace radiation will cause a constant degradation of ship and crew health. Make sure you have enough spare parts and med kits. Ah, uh, what's a little bit of sterility when it comes to making money? If you run low on credits during your journey, be sure to check your comms for new side jobs, traders, and other opportunities. Good luck. Okay. Off we go with our little flight ship. So here we are. To get started, check the nav screen and see what supplies are needed to jump to the next planet. To get supplies, you can purchase them at the store. Use the options in the supply screen to trade or take on jobs in the comm screen. Explore each screen to learn more about that section of the ship and how it can help you on your journey. All right, well, on our navs, we have 380 days remaining and our current location is Renarsum Flan. Uh, we can also set course 
to go to Isint, which is 12 light years away. It'll take us 13 days to make that run. The fuel cost will be 21.6, 15.82 oxygen, and food will be 180 units. So really, it seems like we need to stock up quite a bit. So let's go ahead and dive on out of here. We'll go to the supply markers. And what I would like to see is I would like to have some fuel pods. We'll go to the store, actually. I think I was in the wrong spot. We'll go to the store. We're going to buy and sell. So fuel pods, they cost 28. How much money do I have right now? I have 3,000 credits. All right, so let's take fuel pods. Uh, we're probably going to buy, like, it took us eight to get to one system, so I'd like enough to make, like, Oh, never mind. Due to regulation 3165, no further purchase of this item will be authorized until your inventory drops below the threshold indicated. Do I have, like, storage space? Is that what it is? What kind of storage? Where's my total storage space at right now? Well, if nothing else, I guess since we're limited on space right now, instead we should focus on oxygen. So let's focus on some oxygen, shall we? We're going to supply up. How much can I hold in total? Like, I'm kind of... So it looks like with fuel pods, we can have 110... Advanced parts, we can have 65. So I guess that must just be like a local thing, that we're not allowed to have more than X amount. So take that up to 65. We've got the ship parts. They cost two. Probably take that up to like 35, just in case. I'm trying to do the Oregon Trail thing right now and make sure we have enough stuff to get by. I'll have 10 advanced parts with food. We're going to need more of that. So we got 500 food right there. Med kits, we'll probably take 10 of those. We've spent 1,200 bucks so far. Uh, blaster ammo, probably a little more of that. Oxygen tanks, I'm going to max out on because it seems like we use a lot of oxygen going in between point A and point B. We've cleaned out the store on that one. Missiles, not too worried about. Artifacts, not too worried about. Let's complete the transaction. Bam. There it is. We're now officially poor. Uh, is there any so on comms we got any interesting we've got a frequency and a local information bot I almost lost my crew to a space slug attack Lythor was the bravest of us She put on a spacesuit and confronted the slug face to face Luckily she had a myvelian neural interface and was able to reason with the slug She said it wished us luck on our journey before floating away Okay Oh I can wait days uh no let's not wait let's just go back I figure we just make the jump then so what we'll do is we will jump over to Isint, I guess. We'll set our course and let's proceed. Please don't copyright me. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I'm going to get copyrighted and it's going to hurt my face off. So we're going 12 light years right now. Have we arrived? A rogue asteroid field passes into your path, forcing you to navigate around. We lost three days. Lame! Nobody likes detours. I'm trying to get this done, but unfortunately, they don't want that to happen. Dude, we are dithering on food like hard right now. We need to, like, get there a little sooner. What else has happened? Robot pirates have decided you have something of value to them. So, we can pitch, y'all. We've got ASD, okay. So, we've got that. Spacebar is lasers. Left control is missiles. Tabs will be our afterburner and power distribution. We can fiddle with it. Okay. -na. Where are the pirates? Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. Oh, I seen him. I seen him. Yeah, shoot that. Shoot him. Shoot this dude. I think we might be too far away. Can I missile him? I don't know if my missiles are like heat seeking or not. Oh, he hit him right there. Nice. Oh, we hit him right there, too. Okay. Keep the lasers going. We hit him right there. All right. So we don't have a lot of lasers left. How do I lock on with a missile? Like, boop, 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 boop. I'm going to fire right there. Maybe we'll hit him with a missile. Oh, we got him. Nice. I think we missiled him down. Oh, we're still taking fire. There's more pirates. Okay, we got more pirates. Oh, we got loads more pirates. That's not good. Yeah, I don't think the missiles are heat-seeking. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not getting, like, a heat-seeking vibe from this. I'm getting the fact that these are, like, torpedoes. And that you kind of just shoot them the best you can. All right, you come around. Come around, bro. Come around. Come on. Come around. Missiles away. That's a hit. Hit. 
Oh, we got him. Nice. There's another one right there, though. I think we got another enemy right here. All right, we got to get this guy, too. He's flying straight. That's a mistake. Don't fly straight, bro. Why do I have to leave my list? Like, I got to leave my lasers a lot. Lasers are made out of light, right? They should go pretty fast. Maybe I'm just judging distance improperly. All right, we're going to wait for this dude to come around. Then we're going to missile him in his face. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get the missiles out there. Mission complete. All ships destroyed. We are the champions of space war. Perform repairs? Yes, you might as well. Uh, let's go with, like, some normal parts. Oh, really? So the potential repair is actually pretty low. It's the What do the advanced parts do? They do 10 apiece? Okay. Well, let's go, like, 30. Nice. Okay, well, we got a full repair right there. Hell yeah. Uh, let's get back on the road. We got deliveries to make out here. We're on a schedule. Boom, chicka, 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 boom, 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 space trucking. You receive a communication from a stranded ship that needs assistance with repairs. Should you stop and provide assistance? All right, yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can help him out. I'm a nice guy, and we got a lot of extra supplies, so maybe we'll be rewarded. Red shirt causes an error during docking, which leads to the ship taking damage. Damn it, red shirt. You repair the alien ship. They have nothing of value to offer for your efforts. Man, space altruism is expensive. Let's never do that again. That was a mistake. We're on our own. It's every man for himself out here in the jump gates. It's kind of nice that everybody breathes the same. Red shirt felt a pain in their side. Scans detect no lingering issues, but the medical computer says to keep an eye on it. He's been injured. Oh, lame, dude. At least we're pulling up on the planet right now. I love the presentation of this game. Like, maybe if you weren't there, but it, it's capitalizing on a lot of my nostalgia from bringing a kid sitting on a computer till, you know, 10 o'clock at night when mom would be like, turn it off! You know, you gotta go to bed. Just like sitting there, just getting further. Like, little games like this were important to me growing up. Is sent as one of the last fully operational outposts originally set up by the Galactic Development Corp. As the Galactic Development Corp was dismantling assets during its bankruptcy, this outpost was overrun by local inhabitants and is now an independent trading station. Works for me, man. We need to find a job out here. Let's look on comms. Alright. So we've got a job over here. We've also got a passenger request. A garbled distress call from the surface. Will you help? We get food? Alright, let's do it. Select a crew member. I'm going to send my security guy. Where's my security guy at? There he is. Uh, select ammo to bring to the surface. If the player dies, ammo is lost. Uh, we'll bring like 20. Well, I don't know if this is magazines or if this is individual bullets. We'll bring 15. All right, let's drop down to the surface and see if we can make a little bit of money over here. They offered us like 350 food, which worst case, we can sell some of it off if we need to. All right, so we can fire our weapon and we can run away. Oh, cool, we're playing like Doom. That's actually all the ammo we brought with us. Okay, so that's individual bullets. We now know that for the future. Yeah, I need you to, like, die. Did you drop any ammo? Because I could use some ammo. Ammo's good. Splatty like of the ammo. We got 28 credits. Okay, so apparently there is stuff laying around, and we should probably figure out if it's valuable or not. What is that right there? Can I have that? No, I can't have that. I thought that maybe it was like some kind of awesome space crystals or something. My sensitivity is kind of high. I only have six bullets left, so we need to be like careful about this fight. Like we need to land our hits, basically. Uh, I've run out of road. Nice. Mission success. We can return to the ship. So nobody dropped any ammo or anything? Lame. All right. Well, back to the ship we go. You've rescued the settlers. You get 147 food and you got 28 credits. All right. Let's check out comms real fast and see if they've got anything else going on. We've got a trade over here. What do they want? Trader makes you an offer. I give 28 food and I get 11 tanks. Yeah, I'll take that trade. Absolutely. I've got more than enough food and oxygen tanks I actually kind of need. What does an alien traveler do? Most ships only have hyperspace drives that can move between hyperspace nodes. Governments in the extremely wealthy, however, are able to build hyperspace drives that can go anywhere as long as they have the fuel. Okay. A passenger request. I'd like to request your services. If you take me to Lagur, I will give you 12 med kits. All right. Sure, why not? We've got no other communications here. Let's look and see what our next nav is going to cost us. So, our next nav, 
we've got the stuff we need to get to the next system. That's good. Means we don't really need to stock up right now. I think we should probably grab some more fuel while we're here. Should maybe grab some more food. But we don't have a lot of credits. So, like, he might get risky. Might get a little risky. Let me get some blaster ammo down here. Take that up to 30. Take my fuel pods up to 60. Oh my god, they're so expensive. Alright, well, I mean, we're going to complete that transaction and just hope that we're okay, I guess. But let's go to the nav, and we've basically... We can do more jobs. I mean, it's possible. We can sit on comms for a minute. We can wait. Uh, let's wait two days. Nothing, huh? Just the local information bot. Okay. Well... Let's medkit you. Everybody else seems to be okay. And let's take the nav, and we're going to set that up to go to Ligur. We'll set our course. Warning, the atmosphere of the destination has almost no oxygen. So that means oxygen refueling isn't going to be an option. Damn, they're going to make me buy oxygen out here, too. Uh, let's go... Yeah, just... Grab as many oxygen tanks as you can, because I got a feeling the next location, we're going to have to instantly jump to the next place. We'll set our course. We'll set our course, and we'll do it. I love these little animations in between everything that you're doing. It makes the game feel very, very immersive, and I can feel myself getting sucked in. I think it's a very, very good choice that they did, like, all the random little transitions and whatnot that they did in between the stuff that you're trying. Oh, I should have bought more ammo and more missiles. Sensors appear to find a derelict robot pirate ship. Stop and search for supplies. Yeah, do it. See if we can grab anything off of here. I'm a sucker for space salvage. Tinker wasn't watching the console as the pirate ship charged its weapons and fired a blaster shot at you before escaping. Damn it. Oh, we got four missiles off the ship, though. That's good. I needed more missiles, so that definitely fills in a gap. Oh, we can exit hyperspace travel whenever we want? Cool. I like that. An uncharted black hole pulls the ship off course. Man, lost three days. No. Food's going to be getting real scarce real soon. Your passenger ate a large amount of food. Why would you do that? I don't understand. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. Click Clack is sick with Marpox. Dude, can anything else go wrong on this trip? Oh my god, this is basically Oregon Trail, but in space. People have cholera, one guy's pooping himself to death, I used all my bullets killing bison because that was the only fun part of the game. Like, ah, oh, killing me right now. A moon-sized black hole once passed close by Lagur, the extreme gravitational pull ripped giant chunks of the surface out into space and caused chaotic rock formations to form. Despite the dangers of settling on the surface, actually tourism revenue from aliens coming to see the rock formations make the risk worth it to some. All right, got space geologists, huh? Them Xeno geologists. Thank you for the trip. Here's your payment. 12 med kits. All right, so let's go to the store. We're going to sell some med kits. I don't think I need that many med kits, and so we'll make a little bit of money right there. We're going to need food. Luckily, food is like dirt cheap. So swapping the food for the med kits, I think, is a good transaction. So that put us back up to 214. Before we go to the next location, let's take a look and see how bad that's going to be on our stats. Uh, we need 125 food, 15 fuel, and 10 oxygen tanks. So actually, this is a really short trip. All right. Uh, let's look at comms, and let's figure out what jobs are around. We've got an alien traveler. We've got a passenger request. Uh, he wants to go to Pinto. He'll give us 10 advanced parts. Done. Let's see, your Galactic Tourist Company is hiring shuttles to take passengers on tours around the planet's surface. Yeah, we can do that. Science use advanced topographic analysis for tour destination choices can result in good tips. Alright. Yeah, let's do it. The passengers board your shuttle and the tour begins. I want to get some money. Uh, one of the passengers wandered off during a tour stop. Science bonus, the passengers are very pleased with the incredible views that you brought them to. We got 29 credits. Okay, so we made 200 in total, actually. We made a decent amount of money. Not too bad. I mean, we are a little broke did right now, which kind of hurts, but... 
Can I do more space tours, or can you only do one? What's with the emergency beacon? A nearby ship has been disabled, being pulled to the planet's gravity. Without assistance, it will burn up in the atmosphere. Okay, we can take a shuttle to the ship and repair the engines, or we can reinforce the cargo tractor beam with tetrion particles to change the ship's trajectory. Uh, let's try the engineering solution. How about that? That one's the one that sounds like maybe we can help out. We rescued the ship, and they gave us 85 credits. They definitely like to keep you low on money, though. That ain't no lie. They like to keep you really, really low on money. Let's do another galactic tour, and we'll focus on science. Hopefully nobody gets lost again. Uh, due to a misalignment, the shuttle ride was severely bumpy. Some passengers got sick, and another one wandered off. We got 30 bucks, though. Okay, I, a little disappointing, but that's life. We've got a little bit of cash, though. I mean, if we run tours for a little bit, how much time do I have left? I have 329 days. It'll be good, man. There's some big jumps right there, but, like, I think we'll be all right. Let me do another one. We just need to make some money right now. The archaeologist who discovered the robot pirates also uncovered a neural interface link that allows any sentient creature to read the thoughts of another. You want to read that? Oh, we're out. Never mind. It's not going to allow us to do it anymore. Okay, well, we've got missiles. We've got some of the stuff that we need. Uh, fuel pods are pricey, but we've got more than enough of those for now, so I'm not going to panic too heavily about that. Food is really cheap here, so we might as well stock up for the future. We're good on med kits. We'll complete the transaction. All right. Let me look at the crew. So who had Marpox? Somebody had Marpox. I think it's Click Clack. Let's call the doctor. Greetings, what can I do for you? Uh, we'll heal a sickness, so heal this. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of the Marpox now before it spreads. It's pricey, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Perfect. Alright, I tried the med kit first to see if it would work, but the med kit didn't fix it. Off to Pinto we go. Okay, so fuel is gonna be really pricey at the next location. It said the environment is unsuitable for fuel extraction, so... We've got plenty of fuel, though. we got, like, 40 units of fuel, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Hopefully we don't run into too many issues over here. Sensors detect a derelict ship within an asteroid field. Do you want to investigate? Yeah, let's do it. I'm a risk taker. Fly towards the sensor locations to scan the area. Oh. Okay, slow down. I don't want to do this too fast. It looks like we can blow up the asteroids. Oh my goodness. Yeah, lower speed, lower speed. Okay, so we got something over here. Oof, almost got me. I definitely feel like these asteroids are trying to take me out right now. Like, I feel like they're being thrown at me almost. Yeah, just wipe out the rocks for now. Let's accelerate ever so slightly. So we're at 15% engine speed right now. I just want to get on course. Wipe out whatever rocks we can. This is very dangerous what we're doing right now. But if we can get away with it without taking any damage, that'd be really, really good. Because I think we could probably get some loot off this thing. Kind of curious if the beacon is the green thing? I think it is. I was going towards the orange thing. Oh, almost got me right there. I think it did get me, actually. We might want to slow down a little bit. Come on. Oof. Yeah, it's a rock in my face. Alright, so we got a next waypoint over here. Taking damage. I think I'm getting hit from directions that I'm not even, like, defended in. Like, I think if you stop the ship, you start getting hit by rocks that come from every direction. Whereas if you're flying forward, you only get hit by things that are in your view line. Yeah, you can speed us up slightly. 
Whatever happens, kind of happens. I don't know how I see how much HP my ship has left. But I'm actually trying to get over here pretty quickly. Alright, let's slow up. Come on. There we go. So how much damage did we end up taking? Oh, we found like a spaceship. It was actually like a cutscene. Cool. The ship is long abandoned. You enter it for parts. We found 49 ship parts. We've got planet intel for Bielu. Okay. Uh, yes, let's do repairs on the ship. I assume we probably lost quite a bit of health right there. We need 39, so I'm going to put that on 40. And then we'll do the repair minigame. There we go. How'd we do? Nice. Oh, never mind. I overdid it. We needed 29, not 39. See, this is why I should have finished kindergarten right here. This is why I should have finished kindergarten. I knew dropping out was a mistake. But anyways, this is Hyperspace Delivery Service. I hope you guys really, really liked it. If you don't know who I am and what I do here on the internet, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile. Ooh, our passenger had an allergic reaction and died. Lame. Feels bad, man. I knew we shouldn't have put peanuts inside the pillows. I knew it. Uh, but anyways, a cloaked ship is detected. You can take action. Some spare parts are missing, and the ship is gone. That's okay. We got plenty of spare parts. We have a conflict between rival robot pirates. A nearby nebula provides an opportunity to hide out without being detected. Uh, yeah. Nah, let's just keep trucking. We're almost at the planet. Why do something risky? Yeah, this is Hyperspace Delivery Service. You guys can get it down below in the description. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button. It helps me stay in business as a YouTuber. Other than that, I will see you all next time. Hi, do.